It's Tuesday, October 19th, 2010. Suzanne asked, How do you like your toast? I like toast. I like it in multiple ways. Um, I don't know, I just, I generally just like it with butter, but it's good with jam. I like plum jam and apricot jam. Um, and then I also like cinnamon toast. Oh my gosh, where you put butter on it and then you get cinnamon sugar and you sprinkle it on. That's good. Toast in general. Delicious. And nothing says I love you like a toaster. So, naming Ed's fish. I got some good ones. So, I've been informed that only the, all betas are male, the colory ones, because the female ones are brown and ugly. But anyway, I feel you should give your fish a ghetto girl name, like Shanene or Rashandala. I like those ones. Um, or Lafred. That's one of the girls in Bring It On. His name Lafred. For male names, Polly D. Um, there were a bunch of Russian ones I looked up that were really funny. What were funny, but they were just like, <laughs> you could name your fish Poseidon, god of the sea, or Neptune. <laughs> oh, this is the one that I was the proudest of, the fishuation, like the situation, it's a fish. <laughs> I thought that one was good. Any Guido name for a fish is always good. And then, yeah, <laughs> Joel asked us about fortunes. <laughs> was Naboo. If you don't know who that is, watch The Mighty Boosh. Anyway, I keep all of mine in my wallet. This one's all ratty. But it says, be prepared to receive something special with no strings attached. And the lucky numbers are 4, 11, 26, 34, 40, and 42. And then, this one says, a secret admirer will soon send you a sign of affection. Didn't happen. Uh, lucky numbers 14, 16, 24, 28, 30, and 43. And then you can learn how to say foot in Chinese. And it's Jiao. Jiao? I don't know. Sorry. Butchered that. I don't know Chinese. Um... Oh, and this one says, your efforts in a critical area will soon be rewarded. 16, 22, 28, 43, 44, and 49. 28 seems to come up a lot. Same with numbers ending in threes. Soon someone will make you very proud. Make me proud. Oh, uh, yeah. Those are my fortunes. Rachel asked what we would do in the zombie apocalypse. Um, so, first off, not going to tell you my plan. Mm -mm, secret. Mm -mm, mm -mm. But, weapon of choice. Katana. A sword. Or a gun. Just a high-powered automatic weapon. That I don't have to reload every time. So probably like a machine gun. Some kind of machine gun. Be awesome. Uh, and I would want a truck. And I would stop at every gas station and get gas out. Just uh, put it in the back. Make Molotov cocktails. And Ed, you said zombies are slow. Not always. They can be the weird, super diseased zombies that are like super fast and they can climb up walls. If I had to team up with anyone, um, probably wouldn't team up with too many people because you never know who is going to get infected. And you don't want to have to kill one of your friends. But if I had to, I would team up with... Uh, probably a lot of people. Mostly men, because I'm a wimp. And they all have brilliant plans, and I've really, I don't, I'm not very good with guns. <laughs> so, uh, and I know if I turned into a zombie, they would shoot me. Which is kind. So I would team up with, like, Corbin, Twist, Michael, Zach, etc. Uh, oh, I also went to the bodies exhibit. It was cool. It was gross. It grossed me out. But... 
the well, it was only gross because the nails, like the fingernails, freaked me out because they were really long and like the fingers, like I have really fatty hands, <laughs> ham hock hands, but um their fingers were like super scrawny because it was just the bone and then like these huge they had huge fingernails and you could see like there was like dirt under some of them and then some of them had like the weird they were all super super gross but it was cool oh it was really creepy how they put their eyebrows back on because one of them it wasn't like a real eyebrow it was like drawn on but it was like a flap of skin just like oh i have two questions today um so we all go to college right and i'm undecided in my major and i don't know what i want to do and so i was wondering what is your major and how did you decide that's what you wanted to do? And if my second question is, it has nothing to do with the first question. I was just thinking about it a lot today. If you could live in any country that isn't the United States, um, where would you want to live? And I guess that kind of goes with, like, which foreign language would you want to learn if you could learn a foreign language? Because I know some German. And I know English, and I know, like, <laughs> this much Russian. But I think it'd be cool to learn as much as possible. So, um, yeah. I hope you have a good week, and that your Monday was good, and that your Tuesday was good. I'm going to go do my English homework now. It's always fun. All right. Have a good day. Do you guys keep your fortune cookie fortunes like I do? I have a whole stack of them. Um, yeah. Adios.